Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we are joined by John McGettigan, who is the Regional Director for Australia, New Zealand and the Pacific at Fortinet. Fortinet offers its customers intelligent, seamless protection throughout the ever-expanding attack surface, allowing them to meet performance requirements now and into the future. John joins us today to share more about Fortinet and discuss the findings of its latest networking and cybersecurity adoption index. Thank you so much for coming along, John, and welcome to the Jam. Thank you, Zach. It's great to be here. So for a business that hasn't worked with Fortinet before, what are your key products and offerings? So we focus on a mesh architecture, which is effectively an intelligent network of cybersecurity products, uh, which talk together to each other and provide a much better security posture for their customers. Fantastic. And what are some of the key findings from the 2022 Fortinet Networking Cybersecurity Adoption Index? And also, what do these findings mean for Australian and New Zealand organisations? Sure, sure. Um, yeah, so the, the, the um, Fortinet Networking and Cybersecurity Adoption Index is a major research piece that we've taken to examine the cybersecurity readiness and the approach of Australian and New Zealand enterprise businesses. And there's some key takeaways that we've, we've seen that sort of contradict each other. So the findings that we got were that 53% of uh, all of the respondents considered themselves highly prepared to deal with breaches and cyber security threats, yet fewer than 49% of the organizations could detect a security breach in less than 90 days. And even worse, 23% of organizations, it takes between two to three months to detect a security breach. So what that leads us to believe is that there is some significant amount of work that needs to be done across the enterprise businesses to um, improve their posture. And, and I guess what it means for organizations in Australia and New Zealand is that although they consider themselves well prepared to face cybersecurity threats, um, they, many specific actions needed to be put in place to genuinely, for them to be genuinely prepared Simple things like patching of software is still a problem. And also we spotted a gap with cybersecurity assessment training, which I think is incredibly important to get across the entire organization to help prevent threats coming into the organization. And getting on board with a trusted provider of cybersecurity assessment training like Fortinet would be a great recommendation to all enterprise businesses. And you touched on it a little bit there, but what sort of opportunities did the findings of this year's Cybersecurity Adoption Index highlight for businesses? Well, it, it, the findings in the index um, really indicate that the organisations to cope with the ever-evolving threat landscape, it requires a combination of people, process and platform, which is what we focused on in our, in our study. Um, the opportunities that organisations have currently are heavily tied up with upskilling people and putting process in place to ensure cybersecurity attempts and breaches are minimised. And I think that is one area that we've seen a huge improvement through uh, COVID was there was a lot of upskilling um, in the downtime that people had when they were working from home. And what are the best ways for organisations to protect themselves against advanced and persistent cybercrime? Well, I think there's there's four key ways that organisations can protect themselves, Zach. Um, establishing a zero trust security um, um, platform to help protect against, protect against unauthorised access. This will create a more secure environment that protects against the unauthorised access users. Secondly, investing in leading edge security uh, technologies using automation and artificial intelligence tools so that you can keep up with as, as quickly as you can the up and coming threats. I think thirdly, implementing a cybersecurity mesh architecture. I mentioned that before. Uh, we call it the security fabric approach to future proofing networks. Um, embracing a mesh approach uh, really helps lower the cost and complexi complexity of the environment as well. Um, and fourth, provide training uh, and awareness programs. I'll mention that again, because I think there is a big opportunity where we can prevent that low hanging fruit for the threat uh, actors to coming in and taking over, uh, taking uh, control of vulnerable users. And to go back to uh, employee training and upskilling, how important is it when it comes to combating cyber threats? We're starting to see that cybersecurity is, is everyone's responsibility. So it's essential that that's offered to all employees that use IT equipment. Um, we think of uh, a computer or a laptop now as a necessary part of our business and our tools, but we're often taking our laptops home. We're often working on networks that don't have that protection at work. So it's 
It's looking at um, training employees to understand when they're off the network, how they should be using their laptops, um, using the company policy to understand how they can protect their staff when they're not in the, in the, in the corporate environment as well. And the attack surface has just increased more and more with this remote working. So I think the combination of remote working and user awareness is a big focus for all businesses or should be. Well, it has been fantastic to hear more about Fortinet and the findings of the 2022 Network Inside Security Adoption Index and what they mean for businesses here in New Zealand and in Australia. Thank you so much for joining us on The Jam, John, and we look forward to hearing more from Fortinet soon. Thank you, Zach.